WTAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. Yeah, this could be uh, a top five. Uh, we could get there. Here are the top five all-time snowstorms for here. And this is, these are using the measurements at Harrisburg. 25 inches in February 83, 96 storm I remember well, 93 March storm. Uh, these are some pretty big storms and we're going to get close in some areas. A major storm and I think folks will be calling this the blizzard of 2016. Look at the numbers right now. State line in Franklin County almost three and a half inches, three in Sevens Valleys and Ola, Cumberland County about 2.32 and Lewistown, Harrisburg officially 1.5, but it's piling up. We get a lot of our reports on uh, Facebook and Twitter. Please uh, uh, continue to pass those along and continue to track us on our News 8 Storm Team Facebook page. Here's how I see it again. 6 to 10 south of the turnpike, 1 to 4 north of the turnpike through the mor and by the morning hours. Through the morning midday, it looks like about a foot to maybe 18 inches south of the turnpike, 4 to 8. And we'll add some more in as we go into the afternoon. But look at the winds, they start cranking up and that's going to be blowing, it's going to be drifting and it's going to really be hazardous out there. Things start winding down as we head toward tomorrow evening from west to east. Here are the details, snow moderate to heavy overnight and we're staying in the 20s. We're not going anywhere temperature wise, don't worry about that. Snow will be heavy at times with near blizzard conditions tomorrow morning and it'll taper off late tomorrow. But again, blowing and drifting will continue through the day tomorrow. Sunday looks a lot better, folks. Sunshine. The winds will still be cranking up a little bit in the morning, but I think they'll diminish in the afternoon 30 to 34 degrees. You can barely see the capital from our sky cam. Snow's coming down a pretty good clip right now. Harrisburg at 22 degrees. And northeast winds, they're up at 9, but those northeast winds going to continue. By the way, that's why we call it a nor'easter. Northeast winds, 20s and low 20s almost everywhere. We only got to the mid-20s today. Once it started snowing and started snowing a little heavily, it kept it colder, and it is colder. Here's the radar locally. A lot of these bright white bands. We get breaks in between them, but here's what I'm watching down here. You look at all this. It's snowing heavily down to our south, and as this lifts to the north, it's bringing in Atlantic moisture, and I think it could be snowing at an inch or an inch and a half, two inches an hour. I want to pull out. Here's the center of the storm, right? Go all the way down. There's that arrows coming up. That's a fetch all the way from the tropics with this storm. The storm center will continue to move north. How far north is the big question, but we think there's going to be a sharp cutoff north and west of the Susquehanna Valley. As the storm pulls away, you'll see this whole thing rotate around. But look, you see the starting to get breaks late tomorrow, and then it'll all pull away as we go into tomorrow night. We'll start clearing it out. It's going to be a cold night. Wind's still blowing tomorrow night, a little blowing and drifting, but it settles down as high pressure builds in as we go through the day on Sunday. Wind's a big story with this. What happens is, is the area of low pressure hits the coast. It, the, the pressures really start to drop inside the storm. Well, that creates stronger winds. Near hurricane force winds down ashore. Northeast winds 30, 40 miles an hour around here into the afternoon, into tomorrow night, and then gradually they settle down as we go through the day on Sunday. We're looking at a big snowstorm again two to three feet down along the Skyline Drive. You get into the valley, 14 to 24. Now, again, I'm, I'm just saying 81 up to Harrisburg and then the turnpike over maybe a little farther north. You go north and west, though, it really tapers off. Still a major storm for you folks, but I'm just telling you, really starts to taper off. Again, consider blizzard conditions tomorrow. Really going to make it, if not impossible, but very hazardous to travel. Intense snowfall rates, one to two inches an hour. That could happen in another couple hours here. Don't be surprised here if you rumbles of thunder too tomorrow and that sharp gradient, a real, real uh, signature of this storm system. It's better brisk though on Sunday. Monday's not looking too bad and most of the next week looks okay with uh, temperatures generally in the 30s for next week. Uh, not all that bad though, and above normal temperatures by the end of the week. I that think. graphic you started with was kind of sobering. Was, you think this is going to be one of the top five? Of I think it could be. I, I, in fact, we haven't had since 2010 a one foot storm, and I think we go back to almost 96 since we've had a 20 inch storm 
we get up to 20 inches, you know, there's there's a lot of people watching us having ever yeah. seen that kind of snow. Well, let's hope there are not a lot of problems we, and mm. it's just beautiful and we can enjoy it. You know that little spot that I'm in with the little girl it's, telling her? Um, Vivian. <laughs> well, Vivian. Well, we'll call Vivian. Did, did you call her, Vivian? Tell yeah, her get the, the snow snow out. You know, she's never seen this she's kind gonna, of snow. She's going to need a snowmobile. Yeah, she's a <laughs> nice joke. I'm